our key message that we would give to coaches is that if we want players to get all the benefits out of playing Gaelic football on hurling, that we uh, really need to identify the big reasons why players are unable to participate in our sport, and the biggest one is injury. And when we look at the injuries that keep players off the pitch, we see that there is four that are really common. So there are hamstring, ankle sprains, quad strains and groin injuries. If coaches are looking to seek some help and advice and managing the injury rates on, with their team, they can go to the GA learning portal and find out some information, whether that be some fact sheets and some videos on how to actually deliver uh, the GA15 injury prevention warm-up to help get their injury rates nice and low. The GA15 injury prevention warm-up was first rolled out in around 2015. Uh, since then, it's been trialled in different studies and it's been shown to reduce injury rates by about 40 to 60% in training and uh, match play for the lower limb injuries. And I think, you know, definitely in the future, it can really be, you know, re-examined and maybe the core elements of it can be incorporated, you know, in a much quicker time into different training uh, sessions. But then also that we'll be able to develop some progressions in, okay, well, we might start on this really basic level of an exercise, but how can we progress that on? as players get better performing them as well. The GA started their National Injury Surveillance Database in 2008, and then since then it, it's run up every year with uh, the senior inter-county teams. We began to incorporate uh, both under-21s and minor teams lately, and then also begin to look at some of the trends from the academy level.